I Hate Home, I Hate School, A Letter to My Dad, written by Willie J. Brown III, illustrated by Erica L. Willis. For as long as I can remember, said Rockhead the Great, school has been a stupid place to be, a place that I hate. Home hasn't been much better, whatever shall I do. I hate being at home even more than I hate school. Each morning a monster wakes me and makes me so mad. If you were still here today, I would run tell you, Dad. Get up, she yells. Boy, don't make me fuss. Comb your hair. Wash your face. Don't miss that bus. She yells sometimes. From her mouth shoots flames. She yells bad word and calls me bad name. Protect me, Daddy, please, for I'm your scared little boy. I want nothing from this world but happiness and joy. Since the day you left, Daddy, our lives have changed. The laughter is gone and things will never be the same. I know you're higher above watching your son grow. When we talk later tonight, there are some things you should know. Mama's now a sad old lady, a stranger in our home. She cries out your name and hates it, you're gone. She drinks from a bottle most every day. She does this, I think, to make the pain go away. She's losing weight fast and there's gray in her hair. She pretends to be strong, but life isn't fair. Or kids with no husband, tell me please, what can I do? I've lost my daddy. I can't afford to lose her too. Her face is slimming and she's losing her mind. The lights don't work and I'm hungry all the time. Deliver me quickly from this cold, dark place. The pain is unbearable, written all over my face. Think hard, Rockhead the Great, and develop a plan. Now that your daddy is gone, you've got to be the man. I've got it. I'll go to school faithfully and make good grades. Won't miss a single day if possible. My teachers will praise. No more paddlings or suspension. I'll change my behavior. For my mother is sick and I've got to save her. I will play baseball in your honor, but not as good as you. Or Uncle Charlie or Crusher. You know how hard they threw. I'll play a different position and create my own brand. I'll carry your name with me forever as I become a young man. No more lying or stealing, your will it will be. I will give all that I have to those less fortunate than me. I'll graduate from high school and make mama proud. I'll play pro baseball someday in front of large crowds. I'll buy mama a new house, the biggest in town. She'll be so happy and excited, she'll put the bottle down. I ask you of this, I swear on my name. If you grant me this last wish, I promise I'll change. But if it is your will and my mama should continue to drink into a state of depression and regret, I shall not sink. Just save her seat high above, right next to you, and I will succeed in life as you've instructed me to. As I fall to my knees to talk, there's something quite new. I no longer hear one voice. I think I hear two. I no longer hate home, for I feel safe and secure. My wife, son, and mom-in-law give a love that is pure. And that place called school that I once hated so much is filled with kids just like me who lives I now touch. I teach kids to love and to reach for the stars. It's not about money, your clothes or your cards. Thank you to the teachers that touched my wayward little heart who convinced me I wasn't ugly, not stupid, but quite smart. Thank you so much, Miss Burks, for taking recess away. You taught me the importance of work versus play. Mr. Otha, I thank you for the tough love and firm hands. Those lessons you were teaching, I now understand. Thanks a lot, Mr. Manry, for making school so much fun. I never once thought I was a student. I felt more like your son. Miss Dismukes, Miss Ginn too, so many more I could name. School saved my life. When facing life's challenges, I no longer complain. Teachers save lives daily without much reward. Their job seems impossible, yet they defy all odds. Teaching is about making a difference and knowing one's place. It's about loving all children, regardless of color or race. I, Rockhead the Great, now live by a simple new rule, and I can honestly tell the world that I now love school. And I can honestly tell the world that I now love school.